that one. Finally, got another one. Yes, another one. Yeah, buddy. All right, today we're gonna talk about one of probably the best budget-friendly ultralight rod, the Shakespeare Micro Series. I'm a multi-species angler. I catch anything and everything. If it swims, I wanna catch it, right? So, one of my favorite ways to do it is through ultralight fishing. So one of my favorite things about this rod is its availability. You can literally walk into almost any single fishing tackle store, big box store, go on Amazon and pick up this rod and it's not gonna cost you more than $30. Sometimes you can get it for cheaper and it comes in different lengths, all the way up to 6'6", I think. This one is the 5.6. It's a super versatile rod. It casts well. And compared to a similar rod I have, the Akuma Salilo, this rod's a little bit more stout, a little less whippy in my opinion. I think the Micro Lite is a little bit more um, versatile because it can handle jigs a lot better than the Salilo can. Oh, oh, got one. Finally. Yeah, buddy. That's a nice bluegill. Woo! Took a minute, but we found one. And like I said, handled the fish well. Good, solid bluegill. Awesome, awesome. We found them. Maybe we can find some more out there. So we're going to cast it right back out there. We're going to let this guy go. In terms of durability, it's a pretty solid rod. Um, it handles all kinds of fish well. I've caught some decent sized bluegill on this. I even wrangled in an eight pound carp with this bad boy and it was able to withstand that carp and being dragged all the way around on the kayak, no problem. It's got a nice little cork handle. The cork isn't as durable, I found, as the one on the Akuma, but I mean, it's a $30 rod, what are you gonna do? I would recommend putting on some kind of cork protectant. I didn't do it because I didn't want to take the time to do it. But after a year of use, you can see some little chips here and there. But ultimately, it's nothing terrible. It's still pretty nice and durable. The guides are pretty solid. And of course, the most underrated thing is this hook keeper. I love a good hook keeper. I don't understand rods when there's no hook keeper or kind of worse when there's a hook keeper on the bottom of the reel down here but you know it is what it is every rod is a little different but i like where the hook keeper is on this one a little underrated thing but still very much appreciated got another one yes there we go this is another good bluegill who buddy who buddy there we go. Look at this fat chunker. Again, on the Shakespeare. <clears throat> Even bigger on the Shakespeare. Check this guy out. Handled it nicely. This is what you want, man. This is what you want right here. A nice freaking big bluegill. A nice affordable little ultralight rod. There it goes. Now I have the two piece version. It's rated for four pound to six pound line. You can't throw two pound on here. I've done it before, it's not a problem. It's rated for lures down to 132nd ounce. You can cast 164th ounce lures. I've done it no problem. So um, you can really use it for a lot of ultralight lures, different styles and things like that. That's why I really like it. Oh, oh, oh. Another one. Yeah, buddy. Good fish. Not as big as the other ones, but still a good fish. Yeah, buddy. Found the school. Look how fat. Look how fat this one is. Look at this one. Nice little fat guy. It's thick. It's real thick. They're definitely feeding. Just needed to find where the school was and looks like we found it. that's all we have time for today this rod is solid it's a graphite rod it's 30 dollars don't expect much 
but it's going to be enough to get you started. It's probably my favorite ultralight budget rod, especially if you're just starting out. This is something that I'm going to keep in my arsenal, probably something that I'm going to give to my kids as they get older. And I've seen people who have had this exact rod for years and it lasts a long time. So if you're looking for a budget friendly ultralight rod, whether it's for you or a small relative, a young relative or your kid, definitely consider this rod. I'll link it in the description below. Everything I caught was on the Donkey Tail Jr. from Mule Fishing. That link will be below. I did spike it a little bit with some dip and glow. And of course I was using a mule peg float. All this, link below. Thanks for watching, bye.